Hello everyone, how's it going? It's Douglas here at Drumway Productions, bringing you another Screaming Ghostface collecting video. Today's video is going to be a little bit different than the usual because I just realized this may be the first one of these videos that I've ever done that actually doesn't feature a mask. So, no masks in today's videos, but we still do have some cool items to take a look at, so let's go ahead and take a dive in. These first few items aren't technically Screaming Ghostface related, but they come from a fellow Screaming Ghostface collector. Um, these were gifts that were sent to me on behalf of Meggie Blaine, aka Scream Queen 89. And there was a little bit of help to get these from a fellow friend, Jenna Foe. So a huge thank you to Meggie and Jenna. First up, this is probably my favorite one. We have a signed Thing With Two Heads podcast photograph signed by Sean Clark over here and signed by Christopher Nelson. Sean's side says, to drown boy, thanks for watching. And Chris's inscription is my favorite, don't drown boy, signed Christopher Nelson. So freaking awesome. If you guys do not listen to or watch the Thing With Two Heads podcast, what the hell are you doing? It's absolutely the greatest podcast out there for any horror fans. I'm sure most of you watching my channel have already heard of Sean's channel, but if you haven't, go check out Malfunk Sean. He has some absolutely incredible content outside of the Thing With Two Heads, but seriously, Thing With Two Heads is one of my favorite podcasts, and I absolutely recommend all of you go check it out. The next piece we have is a signed photo of Michael Rooker from The Walking Dead as Merle. Pretty freaking sweet. I like some of Rooker's characters more than Merle, but my dad's a huge fan of The Walking Dead, so I figured I may as well get it on a Walking Dead 8x10, and I'm a huge fan of the show as well. So, all in all, still a great piece to have, and yet again, just thank you so much to both of you for these. And for the icing on the cake, the last piece we have here is a signed Clerks 8x10. It is signed by Brian O'Halloran, Jeff Anderson, and Jason Mews. Unfortunately, Kevin couldn't sign this one. However, maybe I'll be able to meet him in the future again and get him to sign this piece. Regardless, a huge thank you to both Jenna and Maggie for those absolutely incredible gifts. I did not expect them. Yet again, just thank you both so much. So after recently shooting my Screen 3 Movie Mask Guide, I realized that I have a couple of pieces that I haven't shared on here yet. So, here we have a photo of Maureen, a.k.a. Rena Reynolds. High quality, glossy, 8x10 here. I believe this could have been used in the film in the background of the police station. However, as it was sold to me, it was just marked as an unused production piece. On the back, it does have the stamp from Sunrise Studios as well. Next up, we have yet another California Women's Crisis Counseling sticker. Obviously, this is where Sydney's working in part three. These are used on quite a few different pieces in that home office. The next two photos, I believe, are from the inside of Sydney's house in Scream 3, and they can be seen in a couple of different shots. Here's a photo of Sydney as a child. Here we have another picture of Sydney as a child. I thought the rest of this photo was a little bit bigger, and it looks like this one has been cut for whatever reason, so who knows, but there you go. And here's a production piece that for sure was not used in the final cut of the film. We have Sydney's passport photo. So that's pretty freaking cool. All right, guys, and the next piece is a gift that was sent by Kevin Bartz. Kevin reached out to me on Instagram and asked if I was interested in one of the Ghostface display signs from Spirit Halloween, to which I replied, yes, absolutely. I've been trying to get one of these for years. Every year I go to my local spirit, go to some that are a little bit further away, try to get these after they close at the end of the year, and they're always gone. They're always promised to someone else. I even tried to be one of the first people in the door at my spirit this year so I could claim this thing, and even though I was there like 20-30 minutes after they opened, they said it had already been claimed for the season, so unfortunately I have not been able to get one of these on my own, and Kevin worked at spirit this year, so he was able to hold on to this for me, and dude, huge, huge thank you. I think I'm going to end up putting it right there. I'm going to go ahead and tear into this. It looks like it is just the sign. Oh, and we have a note that fell out as well. I'll read the note first. It just has my name on the outside. Dear Doug, hey, I hope this package arrived okay and undamaged. It did. As you know, I got a second job working at my local Spirit Halloween for the season. I was able to get first dibs on any sign I wanted before they get thrown away, so I got the Ghostface one for you and grabbed the Michael Myers one to send to AJ at the House of Masks. I hope you enjoy it and hope you're doing well. Sincerely, Kevin Bartz. Well, Kevin, thank you very much for the handwritten note and thank you very much for the sign. I think AJ's gonna love and appreciate his whenever it arrives. I know that I'm gonna love this one because, guys, it's pretty sick. I know it's nothing that you guys haven't seen before, probably. I mean, it's the modern one. 
But I mean, it's got that TD stamp, that classic Screen 4 image, Ghostface branding, and it's like the perfect size sign. I actually was trying to have a custom, like, Ghostface, classic style Ghostface font sign made for up here to cover up this Lodro on this display case, but unfortunately haven't been able to do that yet. I was actually going to try and get one of these this year instead, and that didn't work out, so this is going to work out great. Ah, oh, you guys can't even see it. Let me show you. I'm going to regret changing my camera angle, but it looks great up there. It's going to look really great once I get it adhered, velcroed, however I get that attached. So yet again, a huge thank you, Kevin. Guys, if you haven't, go check him out on Instagram. I'm sure he'll appreciate it. All right, guys, this next package is coming to us from Morgan Cheyenne Hester. I'm sure some of you out there already know who Morgan is because she's been in the community for quite a while. If you don't already know Morgan, go check them out on Instagram. They do some incredibly awesome face paint, makeup, paintings. Hell, that buckethead painting I have is from Morgan. So go check out their Instagram if you want. They make pretty cool mask-related artwork. I wouldn't say, I guess, strictly just mask-related. A lot of it's music-related, too. But a lot of those musicians are mask musicians. So go check out their stuff regardless. And here we have a very, very well-packed box of items. So, I'm just going to gently pull out a couple pieces here. There are duplicates of each. I ended up getting one of each of these for my friend Tim Wagstaff over in the UK. So, let's carefully unbubble wrap this and take a look. All right. So guys, I actually had no clue that these even existed. Morgan actually tipped me off about these, so I had them pick me up some. Did you guys know, I'm sure some of you out there do, did you guys know that this year, FYE has an exclusive glow-in-the-dark version of this bobblehead? I believe this is like the Entertainment Earth style is where the normal, non-glow, non-bloody version comes from. Because if you guys don't know, there's a normal version of this, there's this glow version, and there's at least a bloody version. The normal one comes from Entertainment Earth, I believe. The glow one comes from FYE. The bloody one comes from Walmart. And there's obviously the Hot Topic version, which is actually like a completely different body sculpt and everything, but pretty freaking sweet. So obviously, it just has the exclusive glow-in-the-dark text here. Sides, pretty basic Scream 4 images. But I really, really like this side with that like fake glow effect over the face. Looks really cool and this to me seems more reminiscent of like older style fun world stuff than pretty much anything they've put out this year. I cannot wait to get the other styles and I think I'm gonna wait till I get the other ones to do one video unboxing them all. We'll show the differences, obviously show the glow in the dark one glowing, all that kind of stuff. So if you guys are looking forward to seeing that, it will be coming at some point in the future. And the other piece we have, which is also something I was unaware of, is a new Handmade by Robots Ghostface. FYE actually has a limited edition metallic version. Check that out. So I guess you could just call that like a silver Ghostface version. So obviously they put out the normal vinyl figure of this, I think either late last year or early this year. But obviously just normal black and white style. Then now they've released this FYE exclusive with a metallic silver. And I want to say there is another version that actually has a pink mask, but I have not found where to get those yet, so I don't have one quite yet. But yes, these are officially licensed for anyone wondering. I think you probably already knew that, but there you go. It's just another weird variant of another product they've released this year. Well, guys, I think that about does it for today's video. Not a whole lot of stuff. Like I said, no masks, but we did have a couple of cool items, including like production and screen used pieces from Screen 3. Obviously the glow-in-the-dark exclusive bobblehead, the silver made by robots figure, and that ever-elusive spirit Halloween display piece. And I can't forget the signed 8x10s. A huge thank you to Meggie and Jenna for those. A huge thank you to Kevin for the sign. Huge thank you to Morgan for tipping me off and for picking up those Ghostface bobbleheads and the Made by Robots figure for me. Not a whole lot left to do but give you guys some close-ups and that's going to be it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Love you all. Thank you for watching and see you next time.